Hello, my name is Chiara Giorgetti, and I am a professor of law at Richmond Law School. Today, I am here to speak about one obvious, but maybe not much studied, consequence of the proliferation of international courts and tribunal, and that is the creation of an international judiciary. Indeed, with the increased numbers of international courts that enjoy jurisdiction over diverse topics such as law of the sea, trade, human rights, and international criminal law, and in parallel, the increased use of international arbitral tribunals to resolve issues such as investment disputes, but also more regular classic, so to speak, international legal questions such as territorial or maritime boundaries, there is a group, a number of people who are selected, nominated, or appointed as international judges and arbitrators, and who are called to resolve a variety of international legal disputes under a variety of international procedures.